subject this morning, uh, accountability. If you look in your notes, you're looking at 1 John um, uh, 3, 8. And it says, uh, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. The word destroy, the word luo, it means to loosen and dissolve, or that is to set you free from. How do you know that we don't need to be under the power of the devil? Come That's on. right. Amen. Set free. Amen. Um, uh, what's the next one here? Um, Ephesians 4.27 says, neither give place to the devil. So if, if the devil ever has a place in our life or in our church, it's because we gave it to him. He just can't walk in and just do what he wants That's to do. Right. It don't work like that. That's right. We give him place. We give. We in some way invite him in and say, "Be our guest." You see. So Second Corinthians two eleven said, "Lest Satan should have the advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of his devices." So that means even though he is a very powerful deceiver, he doesn't. We 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 have the anointing in our lives and the Holy Spirit the revelation. That we do not have to be deceived. Amen. Amen. Right. We don't have to deceive. We have to be deceived. We can. We can. Uh, we don't have to be ignorant of his devices. So that that being the case, we talked about stewardship uh, last time, and it answers. And these are the four areas: the uh, uh, financial. There's even financial problems that either the people or church is having. Doctrinal problems that we're going to be talking about today. Lifestyle problems or relationships.